So I want to do this video a little bit different. I want to actually talk about the video as we go on and watch it again, because this video was absolutely amazing where this trailer was. So if you like the content, make sure to like the video. And if you're new to the channel, guys, welcome and be sure to subscribe. But we might fast forward into a few things because not a lot of things are necessarily too important for me to talk about. So if things seems to get like cut out here and there, that's actually why. But right off the bat, we actually see Welcome Home, which actually I actually thought of Leon as Kennedy in RE2 Remake or Resident Evil 2 with Leon's rookie year, which I find absolutely hilarious and amazing. So if that was not in the OG, that's definitely a nod for Resident Evil 2. Already we have the title screen, which is which is super cool. I, I'm loving the mood of this game already, which was super important to this game, was the atmosphere. The atmosphere has to be on point with this game, and I feel like they've nailed it. And here we can actually see a few gameplay a showcase for, for James Sunderland just wandering in the street. So we can get like the feel of the town itself. And so far it looks looks absolutely promising. I love how grainy the ground looks. I love the fidelity of it so far. And the houses on the sides there, as you can see, look, look actually amazing. And it looks extremely creepy. And also the fog and like the density of it looks extremely good too. And I, I'm liking this so far. I'm liking what I see. And in this section here, we can actually see the first encounter James has with uh, one of these creatures this is definitely still the beginning of the game obviously but looking at this trailer i am like james are you actually insane or something because the first thing he sees when he sees a blood trail inside of a garage is he goes in it He's absolutely crazy for this. <laughs> but this part here looks absolutely detailed, and I believe this is the first time you actually pick up the radio. So a few changes here already. You don't actually go in the back of that little tunnel area. You actually find the radio here first, and then your first encounter to the enemy here, which he actually picks up like a piece of wood from the window. It's like nailed and actually beats the hell out of the creature with it. So first things first, the combat is shown um, again, finally. And I mean, this wasn't confirmed by Konami or anything, but we can all assume this is the newer version and it looks better. It looks slightly better. I feel like at least um, it doesn't look as janky as it did before, I feel like, but you know, it is what it is. We're going to we're going to see for ourselves once we get our hands on the game. As you can see here, there's actually a new UI system for like your inventory system. Whenever you use something, I'm guessing whenever you collect something, this little you this little red UI will pop up in the left side of the screen. And it's it's cool. I like that feature. And again, I love the fact that we can actually inspect items this time and like rotate them a bit like you see in Resident Evil games. And just a little nod here, you can actually see James marking the map, which is a cool little detail I like a lot. The atmosphere for this hospital is amazing, to be honest. Um, it definitely feels completely daunting to be in, which I was afraid of. The remakes will not deliver in, or the remake will not deliver in. But it looks incredible. It looks fine to me. Um, I feel like the atmosphere is completely fine in the hospital as well. It looks dark, it looks creepy. I feel like there's something always watching you in every corner. It looks amazing, and I, I love it. Another thing I do want to mention about this part here is the lighting between the windows um, shining against Maria like that. Amazing. I, I love that so freaking much. And I love cool little details like this, like all the paper flying because of the open window here. That's amazing to me. I love stuff like this. And to me, this is extremely creepy because just Maria staring at a picture and then you stare at the picture and it's the picture of like all of the nurses inside of the hospital, which is absolutely creepy and their faces are like scratched off. Ugh, that's that's pretty creepy to me. This is actually the first footage we have ever since the, uh, the other combat trailer, which is like the outdated one that we see James Sunderland shooting at something. And again, with this absolutely haunting hallway with the lights flickering like this it's just absolutely amazing i'm loving the ambiance of this game again with the atmosphere it, it just nails completely then we have the shooting of the game um the shooting looks definitely updated it looks it looks better in my opinion it looks way better than what we got the last time. And also we got a dodging system, which is fine too. And he completely missed those dodges. Um, I don't think there's necessarily a parry system in the game. I think you're just getting the dodges and that's pretty much it. But I'm liking the shooting. They feel actually impactful. I feel like they have that oomph inside of every shot and like your hits too. The only thing I don't like too much is how shaky the camera is. Shotgun in here looks absolutely impactful. It feels like you're shooting someone with a shotgun. Some games can actually feel like a pea shooter, but this game doesn't, and I appreciate that. Again, we have more lighting of these creatures, which makes an absolute difference in this game. And we're going to see them in the window just about in a second there. Yeah, that lighting right there, that shot looks amazing. And this is when he 
miss that shotgun bullet there. It's absolutely embarrassing, but it's fine. We're going to miss shots here and there. Then here, we finally got the release date, guys, after so many months of not getting it. Just worrying if the game is going to get canceled or delayed or this or that. We finally got a release date, and it's coming out on October 8th, 2024, which is four months. That's not a very long time, to be honest. So if you want to get through the OG Silent Hill game, start doing it now because... These four months are going to fly by immediately. You know, June is coming up. June is going to be over and then we're at three months. It's going to come by pretty fast, guys. Now, I want to talk about the things I didn't like too, too much. Um, I don't necessarily hate these ideas, but, you know, I'm going to I'm going to tell you how I feel about these particular things. And one thing I did not like too much is probably some of the voice acting in some areas. Um, specifically the stuff with Angela. Not only the voice acting, but some of the character designs like Maria's were kind of... A little bit of downgrade i don't mind them it's just i just feel like they could have had a better design overall and my third thing i do want to mention um the combat still seems a little sluggish um it, it was definitely a huge improvement what i was talking about earlier um it's not enough for me to be like wow i don't want to play this game but i feel like the combat could have been a lot better but you know blooper team gets a pass because i believe this is their first game in general to include a combat in their games if it's not um please correct me in the comments but i believe this is the first game that they included a combat in any of their games before and another thing i did not like is the whole pre-order debacle um i am not a fan of the whole you know pre-order the uh, deluxe edition and you get the 48 hour access which to me i feel like it's completely bs i don't think this should ever be a thing to any especially for a single player game you're essentially just asking people to pay more to kind of like beta test your game and i just feel like there's something awfully wrong with that like every other game in the market right now there's going to be there's going to be a day one patch for when the game actually releases for everyone else so i feel like that's a terrible idea and also no collector's edition surprisingly with the pyramid and i thought the ps5 was going to have this um this major silent hill ps5 that comes with a figurine of pyramid head or something so that's kind of a mess um, i feel like konami could have made a ton of money if they would have came out with a collector's edition of some sort it would have been sick to say but is it a day one for me from this trailer from this particular one trailer is a huge improvement how i feel about the game overall um i am gonna play it day one i don't think i'm gonna get the 40 hour you know access or whatever but i think i am gonna get it because i want the deluxe i do want the album but i don't think i'm gonna play two days earlier because the game will probably be full like filled with bugs or you know just some bs going wrong with the game so i think i'm gonna wait until the game actually comes out for everyone but who knows maybe maybe i'll play on the 48 hour access i just don't like that idea it just feels extremely scummy for konami to do but if you like the content guys make sure to like the video and if you're new to the channel welcome and be sure to subscribe and most importantly guys be sure to be nice to someone you most likely make their homework or their whole week but i'll catch you guys in the next time and until then peace